Hi, my name is Christopher Citro, and I'd like to read you a poem. This poem is from my second book. If we had a lemon, we'd throw it and call that the sun. This is a work poem. I had a job a few years ago in Syracuse. I don't have that job anymore, but I do have this poem. It's called, You Can Keep Your Employee of the Month Award. I need to work out a way to keep my rowboat with me, even at work. Double the amount of productivity you expect me to crank out? Sure, if I can do it standing in my rowboat, looking off into the distance for a heron nest inside the cottonwoods. Am I working quickly enough? Let me know when you get the chance. I'll be floating along the shore, watching midges form new constellations against a sky so blue it makes your eyes squeak. I'm going to have to clock in at the start of my day and clock out before leaving. Just make sure the button can be operated by one end of an oar with me holding on to the other, leaning out of, but still firmly seated in, my rowboat. Dreaming of lime trees is the name I've just decided my boat will be called. I'm probably a thousand miles from the nearest lime tree, but the sparkling water I just sipped is lime flavored. And that got me thinking. You'd never accept that sort of non-linear thinking from an employee, but I did it on my break. Paddling out toward the open water, enjoying my muscles, waking up inside my shirt, the tang of fresh air forcing its way into my nostrils. In 15 minutes, I'll be back. I know you find that hard to believe. At my desk, in my chair, at my computer, with my eyes doing what you pay me to have them do, I will. And when I wobble a little, it's because a rowboat in an office is going to wobble a little.